This is a short video on simplifying a fraction to a negative power. Uh, first, to simplify a, fra a fraction raised to a negative power, take the reciprocal of the inside and then make the power positive. What that really means is if I had a fraction a over b, that if it was raised to the negative n power, so some negative number, what I really want to do is I want to flip the inside. So make it b over a and then put a positive exponent on the outside using the same number, so the same n. Uh, once you've done that, now you're ready to simplify as you normally would for expressions with exponents. Um, and use the rules for multiplication, division, uh, raising a power to a power, and negative exponent rules uh, to simplify. Remember that an expression is simplified when you have the following. Uh, you have no negative or zero exponents appearing in the final answer. Right? Only one of each variable appearing in the final answer and no powers being raised to powers in the final answer. All right, so once you have all of that, you'll know that your expression is simplified. Let's take a look at an example. So to simplify, uh, 4x squared y to the 4 uh, divided by 2xy to the 6, the whole thing to the negative third power, the first thing you want to look at is notice that we have a negative exponent on a fraction. If you have a negative exponent on a fraction, you should use that rule that we just talked about where we're going to rewrite this as the same thing except for the inside is going to be flipped. So it would be 2x y to the 6th power over 4x squared y to the 4th power. And we're going to raise this whole thing now to the positive third power. That's how we're going to get rid of the negative exponent on the outside of the fraction. Uh, once you've done that, I would recommend simplifying the inside of the fraction as much as possible and then worry about bringing that power through. So simplifying the inside, if I have 2 divided by 4 here, that's really going to be 1 half. Uh, an x divided by an x squared is really going to be x to the negative 1 power because you subtract exponents when you're dividing. So if I have the same base, x and x squared, the exponent on the x is really a 1, remember, so it's 1 minus 2, which gives me a negative 1. So it's x to the negative 1 power. And then we have y to the 6 divided by y to the 4th, which makes this y to the 2nd power. Again, subtracting because we're dividing uh, things with like bases. So 6 minus 4 makes that 2. And then this whole thing will be raised to the 3rd power. Uh, keep in mind that when I have this as x to the negative 1, we can't leave that negative 1 in our answer in the end. Uh, the next thing I would do is I would bring this power through to each piece. A lot of people think of this as distributing, but you're really raising uh, each, each piece you have inside to the third power. So this would be equal to 1 half to the third power, x to the negative 1 to the third power, and y squared to the third power. Uh, by doing this, we're raising each piece to the third power. And when I have 1 half to the third power, it's really the same as raising 1 to the third power over 2 to the third power. So 1 to the third power, which is going to be 1, 2 to the third power is equal to 8. And when you have a variable with a power on it raised to a power, you multiply the exponents, right? So when you raise a power to a power, you multiply these exponents. So this is going to be x to the negative 1 times 3 is negative 3 power. And here we got y to the second to the third. 2 times 3 makes it y to the sixth. Notice we only do this when we have a variable with a power to a power. If we're just raising a number to a power, we just do it like normal. Like when we had 2 here, we did 2 to the third power, and that gave us an 8 in the denominator, because 2 times 2 times 2 gives me 8. Uh, continuing with this, we can simplify further. We can't have this x to the negative 3 in here. And really, you can think of this as all being in the numerator if it doesn't have a denominator right now. So we want to really move this x to the negative 3 down to the bottom, and that's how we're going to turn that into a positive exponent on there. So this is really going to be 1 over 8. All right, and then this will be x to the third times y to the sixth. That's going to stay up top because it has a positive exponent, so it doesn't move anywhere. And once we're there, you know, 1 times y to the sixth, we can just call that y to the sixth over 8x to the third power. All of our powers are positive. All right, there are no negative exponents. And we have only one of each variable appearing, so we have simplified this completely. Now you try the next one on your own.